It's good to know we'll finally be departing from this damn sky country soon. I was hoping it was going to be really neat and have teleportation glyphs, magic books, secret rooms, and at least one flying time machine. And music with a sitar and tabla drums. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Hayden sure got a full tour. <laughs> It's like they're hiding something from us. I think Pangy might have given them a full tour of this one. Wait a minute. I think it was actually a mandolin. Nah, man, it was a sitar. Maybe it was a centaur? The first guess is usually the right one, Tear. <laughs> yeah, that was good, but it can't hold a candle to- <laughs> Maybe later. I have to go review something else Akira Toriyama related. Something I wish I didn't have to. Come on, Tear. Penguin Truth here, this is Otaku Evolution, and we conclude Dragon Ball Month with... Uh, the first Broly movie. You know, DBZ Movie 8 gives me a chance to talk at some length about the colorful background lore of the Dragon Ball story, an increasingly complicated, bloated lore that makes less sense the more we learn about it. It could be that there's too much material written by different people to put together a cogent timeline, or perhaps every little minute detail of the Saiyan's past has been overmined and it's a dusty husk with several buried miners in it. Either way, it's annoying, and so is Broly. Who knew that the story of Monkey Tail Boy with Super Street would become the story of an alien race obsessed with fighting who would strive with their employer, an angry land shark with lipstick whose annihilation attack sends the Monkey Boy's father through a time warp to a planet where he became the first Super Saiyan and later Monkey Boy was found on Earth by an old man and caught his head for getting his mission to kill everyone, but accidentally killing the old man when he turned into a giant monkey and later came to dream with an even older man who thought the first old man. Oh, also, Monkey Boy grows up to be a legendary Super Saiyan, except maybe not because the king of the planet the land shark killed had a son who was also a Super Saiyan, and also there's this incredulous bulk who was also the real Super Saiyan of legend. And then something about Ultra Instinct. <sighs> so, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, oh yeah, Broly is terrible. A lot of the lore mining is terrible, but Broly is the worst. <sighs> well, okay. Broly's still in the top five, though. <sighs> what is the obsession with overextending the background lore of Dragon Ball? Look, I like Beerus, Tarble is kind of endearing, and Jocko can be amusing, but sometimes enough is enough already. To be fair to Broly, he debuted before all of those characters, but he doesn't feel any real need, and the more you find out about him, the sillier and more disposable he is, as both a part of the lore and as a character in and of himself. Because really, he isn't a character. We're talking about a guy who got stabbed as a baby 
and I still have trouble feeling sympathy for him. He just sucks. This movie establishes, maybe, that Broly is the true Super Saiyan of legend. Somehow. Yeah, now that I think of it, how is he the Super Saiyan of legend? I mean, Goku and Vegeta are also Super Saiyans. How are they any less Super Saiyan than Broly? I mean, the legend has already been ran over. There's no reason to back up over it, as would episode of Bardock years later. The legendary Super Saiyan couldn't just be a power that no Saiyan has been able to reach for centuries until Goku. It has to be a single individual. What good was clearing up the legend? What's the intent here? At the same time, I almost admire the use of the lore, because the previous DBZ movies had pretty much all just been setups for the villain fights. This is really the first of them that actually attempts to do something with established elements in a way that can be seen as adding to the canon. Not that canon means anything when it comes to these movies, but it's still plausible. Maybe that's what makes me so angry about this feature. It actually aspires to be more than the average DBZ movie, and yet it so monumentally falls flat on its face. The general premise is that a Saiyan named Paragus brings Vegeta to rule over a new planet Vegeta. Goku is called on by King Kai to find the Super Saiyan who's been trashing the South Galaxy before he makes his way to theirs. Well, it turns out that the monster Goku's hunting is Paragus's son, who he's been trying to keep restrained. It's not long before he can't anymore, and Broly goes berserk out of his special enmity for Goku, caused by the dumbest reason ever. Well, that and the knifing he got as a baby, and being on a nearby planet when Frieza blew up planet Vegeta, that can't be a healthy childhood. Paragus had been leading Vegeta into a trap. With a meteor heading for the planet, Paragus hoped his son would kill the prince, Paragus still angry over the king knifing his baby and abandoning the two on a garbage planet, or else everyone on the planet would be destroyed anyway. The rest of the movie is mostly just Broly bulldozing his way again and again into our heroes, and Vegeta being practically catatonic from fear. Maybe he just realized how ridiculous this plot is and can't bring himself to take part in it. I will admit that some of the carnage is pretty entertaining at first, but you can only watch Roman Reigns take the strap so many times. Also, Broly needs to work on his promos. I do what needs to be done. What do you expect from a true freak? <laughs> you call that cutting a promo? You can't even get heat with that weak crap. Learn how to work, kid. You want to be more like this. Shove that control into a nosedive, Hulk Hogan. Too bad that guy was kind of an asshole. But I guess Hulk Hogan is too, huh? I mean, really, it's just the same thing ad nauseum in this movie. With 72 minutes, you think they could have done more with the story of Broly. Maybe clear up how he's THE legendary Super Saiyan. I guess because his POWER IS MAXIMUM! Maybe have at least one of the fighters planning a strategy for the group that goes wrong in the last second? Vegeta actually reacting to having a planet for his plaything? I don't know. It's not my job to think of this stuff. For a movie that actually tries to be about something, in the end it all boils down to a nigh-endless one-sided beatdown, and then a last-second save. Broly is a whole lot of nothing. I guess he's supposed to be like the Hulk, getting even more powerful the more angry he gets. But the Hulk didn't become a rage monster because when he was in the nursery, some other baby's crying was annoying. If you're gonna buy that, you might as well make episode of Bardock regular continuity too. Why not? He can't even beat the Doria in the TV special, but throw him back in time, and he'll become a Super Saiyan to save people he just met by defeating a coincidentally present ancestor of Frieza. Ugh. You know what, Broly fan? You know what? I'll tell you something. Kale is a better character than Broly. Yeah, Kale and Dragon Ball Super, that's right. At least Kale has an interesting dynamic with her senpai Khalifla, and her berserker legendary Super Saiyan form comes from intense feelings for her mentor and jealousy of anyone who would get in the way. Huh. You know, I I guess she's a bit of Yandere. Anyway, she has a personality. Something Broly lacks. And actually has an impact. 
mostly on the Universal Survival Tournament's arena. Speaking of characters, though, Vegeta is uncharacteristically shook through the battle with Broly. For somebody who will attack pretty much anyone, he comes off as, well, a bit of a coward. Even Piccolo, who makes his usual awesome entrance, has to pick him up and shame him for being a gutless wimp. It does come off pretty strange, but I suppose it's plausible that it's caused by the combined revelation about this new planet Vegeta being a giant trap for him for revenge on his father, and Broly's overwhelming power and seemingly endless supply of energy pouring out. It was a real blow to his ego. Goku, however, is always looking for a challenge, always believing he has more to learn. But Vegeta does finally start trying for real, even though, you know, it's Broly, so it's pretty pointless. You can tell it's irritating for Vegeta to have to lend his own energy to Goku's combined power final attack. As Goku will say about himself in Battle of Gods, he doesn't like to rely on other people's power, but he's more willing than Vegeta is. The Prince of All Saiyans is not the best team player. Are you completely insane? He's the most powerful Saiyan in all of history! Watch, Vegeta, because massacres like this are rarely seen, even by Saiyan eyes. I'm okay with adding new characters to the TV roster. Super did a lot of that. But when the new characters retcon some established elements and plot points, they had better have more charisma and more reason to exist than Broly did. It can be fun to explore unexamined recesses of the lore, but it has its limit before it becomes tiresome. You lose some of the mystique that way. And that's the case with Broly. He has no reason to exist. They can all be re I guess. Again, I do respect that this movie attempts to do something with the lore, but in retrospect, maybe it would have been better if they hadn't. It certainly wasn't worth revisiting twice with later movies. Well, that about wraps up this episode, and thus Dragon Ball Month for this year. I'm taking a little break, but the mid-year English dub review should be up sometime next month. Until then, see ya! Friendship. Effort. Victory! It is imperative that you use these words, Goku. It's very important. Oh, I see. This interview's some sort of lying contest, isn't it? Hey! Hey! So, that ambassador's getting settled in? Swell. I can't even get a room. I've been staying in the common room this whole time. We know. We can hear your sleep mumbling. I don't sleep mumble. I talk to myself constantly. Wow, that's like... 800% sadder. Hey, it's my life. If you can call it a life. I've been eating nothing but M&Ms for the past few months. That stupid king to the last one. 